Welcome to Make Art, a hands-on course for engineering design, a course taught at the University of South Florida. In this video, we'll briefly compare some 3D software packages and look at how they might be used for different circumstances. So Autodesk offers a lot of different 3D packages. For instance, they offer Maya, Inventor, and Mudbox. Each application can be utilized for specific reasons and they can all be utilized in unison if necessary. Maya, for instance, is used for entertainment, such as animation, gaming, movies, commercial, effects. You can create uh, organic shapes, inorganic shapes, uh, mechanical shapes. Uh, you can do uh, visual effects. You can do polygon modeling, uh, NURBS modeling with it. Um, it's very robust. It's very large. has a lot of different features to offer in terms of texturing, lighting, animation, uh, technical direction and character setup, character animation. And then you have Autodesk Inventor is a CAD software, a computer-aided design software used for engineering design, um, used for product development. With this software, you can get precise measurements. You can build uh, accurate models, mechanical models. You can also get a 2D uh, layout representation of your model uh, with uh, correct proportions and sizes uh, in terms of how you might uh, build it out. Mudbox is a digital sculpting program also by Autodesk. It allows you to sculpt uh, most likely with a Wacom tablet or a Cintiq tablet from Wacom as well. Uh, it lets you sculpt very high resolution geometry millions and millions of polygons, almost like you're sculpting in clay, uh, and has um, detailing, uh, also allows you to texture, allows you to do things like uh, decimate your model or retopologize your model, and uh, is used for a lot of game development, also product development, uh, and entertainment industry as well. If you're moving from program to program or you're creating um, 3D prints, uh, a couple of the standard file formats. A uh, couple of the standard file formats to keep in mind are uh, OBJ, which is an object file, and an STL file. Uh, both of these files can be imported and exported uh, from the uh, programs that I showed you. Uh, you can also um, use native um, app, uh, native file formats such as a Maya.ma file or MB file when you're importing and exporting to various software packages such as uh, Mudbox or even uh, Pixelogic ZBrush. Some other tools to keep in mind for cleanup uh, in 3D printing. Uh, these tools aren't necessarily modeling softwares. They're softwares to analyze and repair models that you might be making um, or prepping for 3D printing. Autodesk Mesh Mixer, which is a free program, will allow you to build supports. It will allow you to make sure that your model is prepared with uh, closed holes, uh, normals, uh, etc. for 3D printing. Uh, Mesh Lab will allow you to decimate your model, allow you to repair normals. Um, same thing as uh, NetFab, where you can uh, prep and analyze your model for 3D printing. Some of these softwares, uh, such as NetFab, may require uh, license fee. Uh, Mesh Mixer and uh, Mesh Lab are free. Once your models are cleaned up and prepared, you can set them up for 3D printing through uh, the slicing software. Some of the slicing software are particular uh, to the type of printer you have. Uh, other slicers uh, you can get and send out uh, an X3G file or G-code file that can be used on different printers. If you're using a MakerBot printer, you're going to have to use MakerWare. Uh, MakerWare uh, will allow you to uh, set up your print or uh, objects for printing with a representation of its plate. You can move, scale, rotate. Uh, you will be able to determine in here things like your infill, your wall thickness, um, your layer height or resolution. And uh, Kiss Slicer is pretty similar, uh, and Cura is also similar in terms of how you prepare and set up your slices. Uh, some of them offer different features in terms of how the infill might occur, or even which direction uh, the printing uh, may occur from. This is just a brief overview of some of the 3D applications. We will be looking into some of these applications in more detail in future videos. Thank you.